All right there, folks. Welcome back to Are We There Yet? A massive day. Semi-final. First leg day against Paris Saint-Germain. CR4 maintains to be excellent. That gives you an idea as to how we've been doing since we last caught up in that second leg at Celtic Park. 4-0 victory away at Bologna. Uh, excuse me, at home against Bologna. Andre Silva, Noir 4 with a brace and Lugo Lechki. Then a 5-0 victory at Atalanta. Um, at Atalanta, try saying that 15 times fast. Go on, I'll listen. 15 times. Nah, no, you've done it twice. I'll move on. Dugaletsky with a hat-trick. Rog and Noir forward goals. And then a 3-1 home victory over AC Milan. Good side, Milan. Not good enough, though. Andre Silva and Adjapong own goal. And a Noir for uh, striking stoppage time. Meaning that Emmanuel Vignato's goal in 85th minute was more, more than consolation. But it's Paris today. That's the focus. And they're the, what's standing in our way of a potential Champions League final. The final is to be held at the San Siro, so it's in Italy. Bit of motivation to get there. I think we're the best team left in this. Uh, you can see Real Madrid beating Leon by two goals to one on the opening, uh, the opening stage of the semi-finals, really. So they've got uh, a goal, two goal uh, away goals, well, two away goals and a goal lead to protect going back to the Bilbao, and hopefully we can do similar today against Paris and make that second leg a little bit less daunting because it is daunting at this stage. You see Dougal actually 15 assists. That's just absolutely crazy. I'll see you pitch side with the team in just a second. So there are the team centers. A couple of changes from the usual side. Aguero is still injured, still out with his with his injury. So Rog continues and DeWitt picked up another knock uh, in between the league games. So uh, well, during the league games that we played since we caught last caught up at the Champions League stage. So uh, Hukma is going to start in central defence with Caldara and Antonio. Fingers crossed we've got enough firepower to get past it. Ikangamane, or Ikanga, Ikangamane is a good striker. I was tempted to sign him. A decent price, I think. £22.5 million pounds to bring him in for Monaco. I was very tempted. The only thing that really put me off was really his lack of passing ability. Um... And he's a bit short as well, just 5'6". I'm sure he'll do well, though. Or will do. He's doing well. So, you know, a little bit of a probable regret. But we didn't need him at the time, and I didn't want to waste his career. Um, let's say we expect nothing from a win from this first leg, because quite honestly, if we don't get a win from this first leg, we're probably going out. Uh, although we've met expectations, of course. Semi-finals is what the board wanted. This year we delivered. Last year we failed to deliver, so at least we've done that. I hope, though, we can get to the final and go... A few steps better than we did last year when we went out in the first knockout round to Leverkusen. Uh, corner ball early on. Four minutes in. It's it's drifted behind a lot of our... Well, everybody, to be quite honest. And Sergei, I'll pick it up on the edge of the penalty area. Plays it inside to Andre Silva. Crosses to Goletschke. Has a lot of goal to aim at, but he aimed at the only place that Burke in the Paris goal was able to defend. And defend he did. And he'll bring this ball out now. Surely that was the moment. It... it didn't really look like a major opportunity, but the goal opened itself up. And Tony plays it forward to Sergei. Maybe there is more to this. Dugalecki on the outside. Can he get into crossing position? He can. He, it's a deep cross, though. And Silva, well, it's uh, off the line, I think. And Rog picks this one up. I'm pretty sure that was it. Was it? Surely. Lewison's cross deflected. Rog brings it down there. Lewison, a lot of work to do and goes back to, to Rog. If we can get the ball through, we're in. Free kick to Juve. Surely that's, that's, the, uh, that's the chance. And indeed it was. Oh, there's no respite. Six minutes now. And a throw in for Paris. Diawara picks it up. Zivkovic, the guy we mentioned. And, uh, well, a little bit like Paris. Uh, sorry, Celtic. They've scored very early. Jacques Girard with, quite simply, a ridiculously good strike. And an away goal as well. After we sh probably should have gone ahead. So they were their first shot of the game, their first attack. And what a strike it was. Let's have a look here. It's laid off, and then Girard cuts right across the ball, and it almost goes in off the post. Really frustrating to go behind to, uh, well, to something quite so, quite so good, but not much we could have done, could have done about it. I don't think. Rog player plays it off his man, but we get the ball back, and Tony Aldugalecki can send Silva down in, on his way. I thought he might have gone left and Noafel, but Silva carries it forward. Noafel, oh, oh tight angle, but somehow he did it. It's inside the near post, and inside ten minutes, it's one one on the night. Uh, Andy Noafel neutralising at least neutralising. Equalising is the word you go for in these circumstances, but Jacques Girard's early strike cancelled out by Noir 4. 
Uh, Paris lead on away goals, but it's far too early to be considering that. I'm glad here that, that Silva had the presence of mind not to... Uh, well, in fact, no, he was tackled, so he didn't have the presence of mind to do anything. And Nwafo rifled in at the near post. 1-1. One, one. Just a couple of minutes later then. Whew, you have a lie down because I will need to. Hugma. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Hugma, I mean, I'm preparing the old walking stick now to hook him off. Let's see if he can do better with this one. That's all you needed to do. Lewis on place it through to Nwafo. Nwafo goes down this left side. Sort of goes in, tries to bounce his way through, but... Such as the power of the Paris back line. They uh, stood up to that. Who That's better, Justin. Or Jeff, even. <laughs> I don't know who Justin is, but uh, he did well. Uh, Jeff Hoogma doing well. And uh, eventually, the, the uh, our tap breaks down. And suddenly, Paris are in. Zivkovic crosses. And it's 2-1. Oh, it's uh, Girard again. And from two strikes on target. I said, it's annoying when it's against you. It's beautiful when it's for you. But two shots on target. PSG. Have a 2-1 lead here. Ah. Two away goals conceded inside 30. I mean, that ball wasn't even meant for him. And then it's a lovely blind pass and Zivkovic takes it on the spin. Steps away from a defender and crosses into an absolutely gorgeous area. There's nothing we can do about it from a defensive point of view because we were all at sea. Boris's free kick goes left or rather right to Munoz. Left if you're looking the other way. And again we lose the ball. It's It's pretty poor. We were better than this against Paris last year, of course. We played them in the group stages and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. We beat them over effectively over the two legs. We finished above them in the group stages. I think we drew it, uh, drew away and won at home. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come. As Noafo escapes down this left side, can he cross? He can. Andre Silva should put it away and does. It's 2-2 inside 20 minutes. What a start to the game. Um, as I say, I'd be much more happy with this if we were the away side. But as it is, we take what we get. And it's 2-2 on the night. Sergei there stepping in, winning the ball back off Zivkovic. Sends it down the channel for Nwafo. He knows exactly where to send him. Nwafo has the strength and the power to run this ball down the flank. Crosses in at the near post. And uh, Andre Silva's there to tap in, as he, as he usually is. You see there, it's right on his toe. And uh, Paris' goalkeeper can do nothing with that. And straight from, from the kickoff again. Here we go. Uh, Vallejo goes right to Zivkovic. And it's outright to Okan Akan. He's a really good ring back, to be honest. I, I really want him, but uh, far too expensive. As all PSG players are, of course. Boris clears the ball. Lugolecki collects. And runs past his man, does he? No, he doesn't quite. But Rog is there. Sergei now. Andre Silva. Nwafo is in the angle. Sort of open, but Burke got a cross goal and saved it. Three, goal cl three clear cuts to two, but it remains 2-2. Two -two. Diawara. Rog deflects. Wins it now. Nwafo. Andre Silva, Lugo Lechki, what's he going to do? It's Oh, it's kissed the post and gone out. No fortune for us. That's the first, wood, first time we've hit the woodwork this evening from either side. And the play just continues. I'm glad we're playing on key highlights, but I don't know how commentators do it for a full 90. No wonder they get bored and start talking about nonsense. Lugo Lechki sends it through to Andre Silva. Skips past one man. Oh, and the shot was just bending away from goal. It almost crept in, but not quite. I thought we were going to have a minute's rest, but we don't. We don't. Sergey on this uh, one. Well, a bit of a ping pong, but it ends up back with Sergey. Uh, Kaldara plays it right now to Rog. Loses out. Dugolecki should recover and get down the flank. Crosses into the penalty area, and Andre Silva gets the goal. 3 2 to Juve, the first time we've led in the game. And of course, the tie, but that's because the game is just the tie at this stage. And barring the two attacks that Paris have had and scored from, we have been by far the better team, I've got to say. Um, oh, I mean, that, that could have been a foul, couldn't it? But we'll, we play on. Lugo uh, another assist for him. 16 assists now, at least in the Champions League, and headed in. Looked like it went in off the crossbar by uh, Andre Silva, and a 3-2. I thought I was going to get the chance to breathe, but no, Noafo's free kick. Just wide of the post from Noafo. Goalkeeper scrambling. Remains 3-2. Oh, my. <laughs> Hoogma. There needs to be a just just goal highlights, I think, is what we need. Um, Antonio clears the ball up to Munoz, brings it down and plays into Golechki. A little bit of space, but it soon gets closed out. Look at the acceleration on the boy. Crosses deep. Noafo heads down. Silver's there. 4-2 on the night. It's not even half an hour played. Four goals to two. Uh, we played a blistering attack down that right side for Dlugo. 
I wonder, we will get to see it. Uh, just this, you think he's got, he's, he's having the space closed down, but then he just turns on the afterburners and goes for broke. I mean, it's largely in a straight line, so, you know, happy days. But the pace and then the, the quality of the ball in is such that Noafo can just check, well, palm that down, almost head it down. And Andre Silva, no problem with the finish. I thought I was going to make it to half time for a bit of a rest then, but no. Uh, we had a bit of a respite for 10 minutes or so, but here we go again. Lewis on, re retrieves the ball from uh, Paris, having their, their player kept it in on the touchline. Didn't need to. Noafo crosses, thought it was going to be another... Another simple tap in. Wendell gives it to Zivkovic. We need to. Oh dear, this this boy here is quick, and oh, it's a decent effort. But it was in. I can't say his name. Kangamane, Kangamane uh, sends it wide, and uh, a corner now. Hugma's under it, and it's over the crossbar. Hugma should have scored. Big Jeff Hugma, a little bit regret on that one. And just before half time, there will be one more moment. Noafo. Luisson sends the ball down the line for Rog, of all people. Who Rog, who, it's Rog who gives chase. That's a questionable ball, but Paris have the quality to deal with it, and deal with it they do. Look at the numbers in midfield. Zivkovic to Girard. He's already scored two, of course. Uh, Hugma goes back to Boris. We should have control of the ball, but we don't. Diawara heads it down, and Wendell comes forward. Kangamame back to Boris now. This is, hopefully we win this. Andre Silva does win this, and Dugo Lecce could escape, can he? No, he can't, but we do retrieve it. We, Nwafo, look at the space now. Andre Silva is in and it's palmed wide by uh, Burke in the Paris goal. We should definitely have done better than that. Look at the clear cuts we've had. That is going to haunt me for the rest of my days. Nine clear cuts in these opening 45 minutes. Oh, we get a goal right on the half-time whistle. 5-2, it's Dlugo Lechki. Uh, I thought the game, as you do, I thought that highlight was over with it being a re uh, a corner from another an earlier chance. But that's our 10th clear cut of the game. Paris, of course, have had three and missed one. But ourselves, having had 10, we're well worth this lead. Uh, Dugo Lechki right in front of goal. I don't know what the uh, Burke in the Paris goal is going for. The Burke is there. But 5-2, uh, it will take this into the break. Game is nowhere near over, is it? Three goal lead at this stage, but two powerful away goals. That's the that's the terrifying thing. We'll tell the boys not to uh, to get complacent, as I'm sure we'll concede in the first five minutes of this second half, as you do. And here we go, Girard. I suppose he didn't score from there. Calor goes out to Neymar. He's been a bit quiet, but, you know, I mean, he is 87 now, so there you go. Wendell, out to Neymar, and out now left to uh, Guillermo Arana. And inside the first 30 seconds of the second half, a corner ball for Paris. Hopefully nothing comes of this. Very rarely does it happen that something does come from these, but there you go. Luisson knocks it behind Lamar, letting it go out for a throw into Paris. Corner ball for ourselves. No, Rog drifts it in. Andre Silva's under it, and it is a penalty. Uh, a push there by Wendell on Rog, I think it was. Um, well, someone anyway. Andre Silva steps up, immediately forgot who uh, was under that. Of course, Andre Silva's already got a hat trick. And he puts that one in, 6-2 on the night. It's starting to feel a bit more possible that we might be making a Champions League final. I don't want to count my tickets too much, too early, because there's a lot of football to be played. And Paris certainly have two away goals to deal to, to deal with. Can they beat us 4-0 at their place? Comfortably. Comfortably so with the attacking talent they've got. They've taken off Neymar and brought on Malcolm, who must not be named if you're a Roma supporter. But there you go, Sergei. Poor ball. He was looking for Rog, but he didn't quite get there. But Sergei tracking back and wins it back for his team. Boris clears up towards Lugo, who can't quite win it. Engamame is in and just puts that wide of the post. That's their fourth clear cut to our 11th. They are dangerous. Um, I think he's having a decent game despite his 6.4. He's getting into attacking positions, dangerous positions, and he's, he's causing our defence some problems. Uh, he's a, a little bit of a messy at 5.6. And headed in, it's three away goals. Okan Akan, the man, uh, the ring back who I praised earlier. And that's his first goal for Paris. Are you, are you testing me, Satan? Zivkovic's corner, near post corner as it is. And, well, I mean, he's come through. I don't know who's supposed to be marking him. But uh, three goals it is. They've only had five shots on target. Um, I think we'll look to make a change as we're starting to, to flag a little bit at right back. Munoz will come off for Pereira. Um, we'll get back out there, shall we? We will. Come on. A free kick now taken by Burke in the Paris goal. Headed down by Hugma. Deflected, but Sergei picks it up now. Into Luisson. Noafour. Luisson again. 
comes inside to Sergei, can release, uh, Rog's in, oh it's in the net, I didn't think that was going in but it did, I noticed we have a knock on the field, it's Andre Silva, so while the boys celebrate we'll uh, pause that one and we'll get Maratta on and play Nwafo centrally, we'll just move Lugo out to the left side as well as he prefers to, Maratta prefers to come in from the right side it seems, oh, I didn't think that was going to go in but the Rogmeister uh, duly obliged by giving us a uh, restoring the four goal lead although three away goals is very strong uh lewis on plays into sergey it's good football it really is uh, andre silva's the man probably intended but rog breaking through and then striking left footed uh, sliced it a little bit and that's probably what's what's helped he's not hit it as true as he might have and that's probably taken it away from burke in the in the goal uh guillaume arana there is going to be what? It didn't look like a bad challenge. It just looked like a, a bit of a jump for it. But he is sent off. Apparently a shocking tackle, leaving the referee with no choice. And uh, hopefully we can take advantage of this numerically. Sergei manages to keep the ball, does he? Just. But loses out now. And suddenly, even though Paris are a man down, they've got a bit of a counter on here as Andre Zivkovic comes forward. And Luison stands him up, but we lose out. Girard on a hat-trick, of course. He's been good. Crosses. Malcolm scores uh, four away goals to a team down to ten men. Ugh, we should not be getting caught on the counter. I'm no interest in seeing that again. That's really, really poor for ourselves, really. You can see the defence uh, not having the best of days. And we're going to take off Hugma for Berger. Um, just to remind the defence that, you know, you've got you've to put a shift in. And they've not put the shift in. Is it 7-4? Four, four away goals is really irritating in this situation i was hoping we might have got another one given we had an extra man but they've uh well i mean they've dealt with it pretty well by scoring another goal and it looks as though we're going to close out this game seven goals to four an interesting uh, weird score line i think that's just offside for Murata. no it isn't but we're not going to score that from that so last 20 uh, last 10 seconds and it's going to finish seven goals to four hopefully ref just do the business you know what you need to do now blow that whistle as you've been trained there it is. So 7-4. First leg lead 7-4. Um, difficult to know what to think of that. I don't, you know, what, what do you make of a 7-4 victory? You did well at one end, but pretty appalling at the other one. And that goal there a minute after after uh, having an extra man is pretty questionable. We should have enough in the tank, though. We shouldn't be able, we shouldn't be get battered there, but we can easily lose 3-0 at Paris. That's the worrying factor. We've got one game to play against Kievo. Obviously, I'll do that, and then we'll come back and we'll do the uh, the Paris game in the next episode. Do pop a like on there for me. Uh, subscribe as well, and any comments, of course, in regards to how on earth you manage a 7-4 into a second leg, do pop them in there, and I'll, I'll have a browse. Look forward to seeing you for that second leg. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I'll see you again on that video. Goodbye.